Pastis versus Absinthe. Pastis emerged some 17 years after the ban on absinthe during a time when the French nation was still a bit apprehensive of high-proof anise drinks. The popularity of Pastis may be attributable to a love for anise drinks that was cultivated by absinthe decades earlier, but it's also part of an old tradition of Mediterranean anise liqueurs that include Sambuca, Ouzo, Arak, Rocky, and Mastica. So let's discuss absinthe a bit more to get some reference. Originally produced in the late 19th century in Switzerland for medicinal purposes, absinthe quickly moved across the border into France, where it experienced a huge surge of popularity. In time, absinthe became even more celebrated than wine, and diners often shared a bottle of the green liqueur with dinner instead of the traditional Bordeaux or Burgundy wine. Well, then why was it banned if it was so popular? Well, French wine growers, unhappy about declining sales, started a smear campaign by creating some bad publicity linking absinthe to supposed hallucinogenic properties and a murder. Absinthe was outlawed when the government declared that all food and beverages must be thujone free. Thujone can be found in trace amounts in Artemisia absinthium, the wormwood from which absinthe gets its name. Therefore, imports were forbidden. Later though, tests of the green spirit found that thujone levels in absinthe are extremely low so low in fact that people would die of alcohol poisoning before ever feeling the effects that Tujon can have on the brain. At the same time, temperance supporters were blaming absinthe for widespread alcoholism in Europe. And by 1915, it was banned in America and most of Europe, which is when pastis slid into the market. Well, sort of. Pastis didn't actually become popular for another 17 years, as France banned not only absinthe, but all anise-based spirits. When the prohibition of milder anise-based spirits, aka everything except absinthe, was finally lifted in 1932, Paul Ricard, whose half of the famous company Pernod Ricard, was ready to fill the hole in France with his pastis. Made and marketed in France as an absinthe replacement, the less potent spirit omitted the infamous wormwood and included a different type of anise. In October 2007, in the United States, the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau issued new guidelines on absinthe. From that day forward, any absinthe containing thujone is legal, as long as it contains less than 10 parts per million. Most absinthe was and is already under that threshold, so the law of clarification essentially made all absinthe legal again for the first time since 1912. So what's the difference between pastis and absinthe? Well, absinthe gets its signature color and flavor from green anise, fennel, various additional herbs and flowers, and grand wormwood. Absinthe is actually the French word for grand wormwood. After creating or sourcing a neutral base spirit, a distiller infuses it with fennel, anise, and wormwood. Then he or she distills the aromatized mixture and the resulting liquid is diluted. At this stage, the absinthe is clear. Many brands add herbs to the mix after distillation to color the liquid to its signature green color. Some less reputable producers, though, will add artificial colors, but that's not real absinthe. Pastis production, on the other hand, is similar to that of absinthe with a few differences in ingredients. Where absinthe is made with green anise and wormwood, pastis gets its flavor from star anise, fennel, and licorice. Pastis makers macerate those ingredients with other aromatic plants depending on the recipe, and distill the mix. Then they add sugar, making pastis a liqueur rather than a spirit. Furthermore, pastis traditionally exhibits the distinct flavor of licorice root, which is not a part of traditional absinthe. Where bottle strength is concerned, traditional absinthe is bottled at 45 to 74 percent ABV, while pastis is typically bottled at 40 to 50 percent ABV. Styles of absinthe and pastis. There's countless ways of making absinthe, mostly depending on whether the distiller is going to follow a traditional recipe or opt to utilize more modern ingredients or methods. But there's two main styles of absinthe, verte and blanche. Verte. Traditional French absinthe gets their green color by steeping the final distillate with chlorophyll-packed herbs. Blanche, sometimes called bleu, is absinthe made without the final coloration step, saving time and leaving the spirit as it is, completely clear. During the absinthe ban, Swiss bootleggers kept their absinthe clear in order to pass it off as a different spirit. The clear version is now considered the country's traditional style. Pastis Pastis is typically transparent amber, a color often created by the addition of caramel, but there are some brands creating clear 
and sky blue versions of pasties.